Welcome to Easy Limo Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic time. And for this lesson, we are going to cover something called the units of time. That is the units that are used in uh, measuring time, like hours, minutes, days, and so on and so forth. So when we talk about time, what does it mean? And we have some few questions involving unit conversions, maybe from hours to minutes to seconds and so on and so forth. And of course, at the end of the lesson, we'll be having some questions in the form of assignment to help you practice on what you're going to learn during this lesson and to help you also gauge on your understanding of the concept as discussed during this lesson. So, these are the main main units we use to measure time, like weeks. Time can be measured in weeks. Time can be measured in days, hours, minutes, and seconds, among others, like decades, centuries, fortnight. You know, there is even a month. So we have. One week has seven days, a day has 24 hours, and an hour has 60 minutes, and a minute has 60 seconds. So we have a few questions here that are supposed to help us with uh, uh, unit conversion. So how many hours are there in a week? So we know... One day has 24 hours. So one day has 24 hours. What about seven days? How many hours? So this is seven times 24. So we just use long multiplication, so 24 by 7, so 7 by 4 is 28, 8 carry 2, 7 by 2 is 14 plus 2 is 16. So 7 days has 168 hours. Just a matter of multiplying the number of days by 24 because one day has 24 hours in it so now you are supposed to convert 3 hours 45 minutes into minutes so I will just convert the 3 hours into minutes then I add the 45 minutes so let me try and subdivide the space again So three, one hour here has how many minutes? 60 minutes. What about three hours? How many minutes? So that is three by 60 over one equals to 180 180 minutes so total time will be so you say total time in minutes should be 180 you add 55 This is 225 minutes. So 3 hours 45 minutes into minutes is 225 minutes.
So express 4 hours 15 minutes into seconds. So you'll have to convert the 4 hours into seconds and the 15 minutes into seconds and then you add the 2. So time in hours should be equal to time in... Uh, okay, we are converting both of them into minutes, into seconds. So we talk of time in uh, so time in seconds should be equal to time in hours. You multiply by sixty to change to minutes, and then you multiply by another sixty to change them to seconds. So this will be four by sixty by sixty. So this is 240 by 60. So again, we'll multiply 24 by 6. So 24 by 6. 6 by 4 is 24. 4 by 2. 6 by 2 is 12 plus 2 is 14. So you just add the two zeros. So then it means time in seconds or T1 in seconds. Because now we are still going to convert the 15 minutes into seconds. So this is 144. Then you add the two zeros. So 14,400. Seconds. So T2 to seconds should be equal to time in minutes. You multiply by just 60 only. So minutes they are 15. You multiply by 60. So I'll try multiply 15 by 6. So 5 by 6 is 33 carry, uh, 0 carry 3. 5 by 1 is, I mean, 6 by 1 is 6, plus 3 is 9. So that is 90 minutes. So we have T2 in seconds equals to 9, 0. Then you add the zero. So that is 900 seconds. So the time that we are looking for should be equal to T1 in seconds plus T2 in seconds. Which is uh, 14,400. Plus 900. So we have 14,400. Then you add 900. So 0, 0, 3, carry 1, 5, 1. So we have our time equals to 15,300 seconds. So now we need to convert these into hours and minutes. So we are basically going to divide the number of minutes by 60 because there are 60 minutes in one hour. So let me start with A here. So this is long division. 
So the divisor is going to be 60. So you have 820. So 6 goes into 80 how many times? Once. And 1 times 60 is 60. So this is uh, 2. This is 2. Then you drop 0 here. So 60 goes into 220 how many times? That is 3 times. And 3 by 60 is 180. Then you subtract. So 0. You borrow 1 from 2. You put it 2 here becomes 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. So this is less. So we have 13 remainder 40. So we have 13 hours. And the remaining number of minutes becomes minutes. So 13 hours, 40 minutes. B, the same thing. Just long division. 730. So 60 goes into 73 ones, and 1 by 60 is 60. So this is 3, and this is 1, then you drop the next 0. So 60 goes into 130 two times, 2 by 60 is 120. You subtract, this is 0, this is 1. So we have 12 hours. And the remainder is 10 minutes. So that is all. We have a few questions here to help you practice on what you have learned through this lesson. Uh, otherwise, that marks the end of the lesson. Until next time, goodbye.